All right, so now that you've got your plan and you're ready to use it and you've got your um, site set up, let's just do a couple of extra things. So I'm just going to minimize this. Uh, and we're going to create a few more layers. So there we go. So the first layer I'm going to make red. Uh, and the second one I'll just leave uh, for now. But So the first layer is our sketch. And the second layer is going to be our 2D shapes. 2D shapes. There we go. Uh, actually, um, I might just turn this back to black. And this to red. So there we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our, uh, our sketch of our plan. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to create a surface. Uh, and so, if oh, how the way I did this was, I just long clicked on this, enter the rectangle plane corner to corner, and then click on picture frame. Right. Obviously, um, the other way to do that is to just type in picture frame, or just start typing in picture, and picture frame will come up in the command line. Right. So now I'm just going to find my ob uh, my plan. So there it is. There open it up and so now it's asking me for the first corner of the picture frame so I'm just going to make it uh, somewhere here and there's the second one hold down the shift key to make it at right angles because that will just make my life easier uh, and I'm noticing that it's around the wrong way so I'm just going to turn it around rotate it so there's my original angle rotate it around to my second angle there All right so there we go so there's our plan. Now we're going to we're going to resize it so that it's exactly the right size. We're going to do that in the in the top viewport. So go to our top viewport. Here we go. So in essence, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this line here 13,000 millimeters or 30 meters long. So let's do that now. So I'm going to choose the transform. Um, menu and choose scale 2d right because we don't want to make it into a three-dimensional object All right so we're not going to use this here as our place to do that from but we're going to do it from here so I'm going to start from this corner here and go all the way to this corner here maybe hold down the shift key to make sure that it's straight like that and I'm saying that that line there should be 13,000 so I'm going to type in 13,000 <coughs> pardon me <laughs> and I pressed enter and now you can see if I actually check this uh, create a linear dimension here one two there we go that's pretty close obviously I didn't get it right onto the corner there but that is the right dimension so let's delete that don't need that anymore okay so now what we're going to do is having um, set up our um, our template as it were, we're now going to cr start creating some drawings. Uh, by the way, I'm just going to check that this is, yes, that's that, that is in fact on the right layer. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's also just change some of the properties of this template because we want to use it, but we don't want it to get in the way of what we're doing. So I'm going to go to its material properties. I'm just going to change the transparency of this to 50% like that and you can see now that it becomes see-through we can see things through it All right good so back to our top view um, we're on now the 2d shapes um, layer so now we can start to create some stuff actually I'm just going to check this one thing well it's on the wrong layer there you can notice that so let's just turn put that onto the layer that it's meant to be on which is there and we can move on. So, on the 2D sh um, shapes layer, I'm going to just now just start creating some geometry that we want. So there we go. So this should be 13 meters. So 13,000. Press enter. So there we go. And then this, I believe, I chose that to be minus 6,500. There we go. So that's pretty much right. Um, actually. Uh, yep, so there we go. And so then, and now I'm going to try and create this rectangle. Now, 
while this is not exactly in the middle, that's what I intended it to be. So let's find out where the middle actually is. Uh, turn on the midpoint, so that's turned on. Let's draw, draw a little short line there so that it's there and ready to use. So I'm going to create a rectangle starting from here, bringing it out to there, maybe that. Yeah, so that's just a simple rectangle. Now, um, there's a few ways that I could make it twice as big. Uh, I'm going to choose for today to use the scale tool. Um, the scale tool is very underutilized according to me. Um, so, for example, if I do that there, the scale factor, see the scale factor that I actually want is, oh no, I need to know how, how long it is. Uh, how long it was to begin with, so that's not really going to work. So I'm just going to cancel out of that and do the whole operation again. So the origin point is going to be here. There's the second one. Oh, actually, the scale factor. So at the moment, the scale factor is 1. So that would be 1 to 1, so it would be stay the same size. Now we want, just want a scale factor of 2. We want it to be twice as long. There we go. And then hold down the Shift key, and there we go. All right, so there is basically uh, the beginnings of our um, of our design. So now, now we're going to start using some of the visual arc tools. Um, but I think we'll stop there. I think if you get once you get your plan, your plan probably is a little bit more complex. Once you get your plan uh, lined in uh, so that you know exactly where it is, you can do this turn off the sketch right so that you're just dealing with what you're dealing with uh, without too many other complications I'll just delete this just don't really need that um, that's it so um, get that done and I'll see you in the next tutorial